Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old Narrowboat Tilly, and today we're gonna talk a slightly more thoughtful video, I suppose, about why I love boating. But you might be there thinking, hang on, talking about loving boating, isn't that what you've been doing for the last four years? What more is there to say? Um well, very good point, I suppose. Um <laughs> but basically I really I've been spurred on to do this particular video now and uh, this exact day for two reasons, I suppose. The first is that as I've made it more public that I'm intending to sell Narrowboat Tilly very soon and there's probably going to be at least a sort of summer period where I'm not going to have any boat at all while I'm looking and figuring out life and looking for another job and all sorts of different bits and pieces like that potentially. There's a lot to think about and assuming as well that Narrowboat Tilly is going to sell uh, any time in the near future too so again there's all sorts of variables and that thrown into this mix but I'm intending to put Narrowboat Tilly up for sale so that's led loads of people to be like whoa are you giving up on boating don't you like boating anymore are you sick of the canals and all this sort of stuff and I'm like no 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 it's not like that I love boating I love the canals it's all it's all exactly still what I love about the great outdoors in a nutshell um so Basically, I wanted to do a video sort of to put some people's minds at rest that I'm not suddenly going to turn against the canals and start campaigning to have them all concreted up or anything like that. So what exactly is the absolute essence of what I love about all this boat life stuff? Well, this is the first thing that we need to see. Just the beautiful rural locations that you can tie your boat up and open the curtains to and step out of the back door straight into this. And one of the reasons that this ended up being this week's boating video is the fact that the day I recorded that introduction clip on and that original clip goes on and on and on and on so I decided to cut that short was the fact that that day was one of the hottest days I've ever known outside of summer. I mean I really can't explain to you how hot this day was and again it's this sort of scenery and this sort of countryside that's the absolute sort of heart of why I loved the whole idea of getting a boat and what's made these last four years so fantastic. Now, on top of that, this clip here is showing you a couple of the boats moored up around Tilly also serves to give you a very quick glimpse into another thing that I absolutely love about all this boat life stuff. And that's the fact that... As it stands, I've come up here for a week or so to moor up just by Tetchel and then I'll move up to Ellesmere at some point and may even be there when this video goes live, who knows. But the fact that you've got all of these boats moving around on the canal and all sorts of people living in all sorts of different lifestyles with their boats and it just so happens that seven months later, and again, this was the same day, believe it or not, by the evening we had rain pouring down, but basically, seven months after we were all in that spot at the same time in last year, randomly, I think there's about four boats, including Tilly, that are all moored up in the same sort of vicinity, literally seven months later, and we'll all hang around there for a few days or a week or two, and then move off our separate ways and might meet up at completely random places all over the network. And again, it's just some of those little moments that I absolutely love. Now, speaking of things I absolutely love, I just want to leave you in peace for about 20 seconds here to listen to the rain falling on the roof and the fire crackling away at night, just so you get that feeling of it's the whole experience, not just what you're seeing, but these sort of sounds that I love too. Well my friends, this is the proper end of the night now. Don't know why my nose is all blocked up as I say this, but again, this is half of what I love about boat life, the absolute peaceful nights. And if we have a look over here, if we're stood up on the roof, like you say, so we can see over the hedgerows, those lights are just on the outskirts of Ellesmere around a little business park. But that's such an uncommon thing for so much of the canal around here to actually see a proper sign of any sort of life. And if we pan the camera around here, and I promise you this is actually a video we're looking at, you can see that when we look over towards Tetchel Village itself, there's like a few house lights you might be able to see. 
Although, actually, looking on the screen, they're so dim that you can't actually see them. And then looking backwards, for probably about 180 degrees, I would say, there's not a single sign of actual life or anything, apart from a couple of moored-up boats at the back here, and the silhouettes of the trees against the sky. And again, it's that peace and quiet and... It's not as if we're in a super rural place here, we're still, like I say, about a 40 to 45 minute bike ride from Oswestry. We're one mile of canal from Ellesmere itself. And as I get back down here, hopefully giving you something more interesting to look at, which is basically anything that isn't just a pitch black thing, which I to focus a bit more. And as I say though, it's basically just that absolute peace and quiet and if we yeah, step down inside ooh, you can see again that when we come inside now close the door so we've just got straight up just how it normally is when you go into sleep have a listen to what you can hear now and it's that silence that I really just cannot get enough of absolutely love it and as i've said many times it's like nodding off to sleep and so often the only sounds you hear are a few little scuttles of goodness knows what running around outside a few birds maybe an owl or two going about their daily well or their nightly life and of course to finish it all off maybe a crackling fire maybe a bit of rain on the roof and that'll do you as I say, that beautiful sunny day really did turn into this, but ultimately I suppose I wanted this video to just be another quick summary and sharing a few of these little moments and the sights and sounds that make up boat life almost more than the actual boat itself, I would say. But ultimately, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm just going to do my plugs now and then leave you in peace to enjoy one final little clip from the following morning on from these clips you've seen here today where you might even hear uh, the very faint sounds of horses' hooves on the roads and see a very small faint dot of the high vis of the person who was actually riding the horse. But until the next time, I'll say now, thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description for my boaty books and check out my other boaty videos, all that sort of stuff. But right now, have a fantastic day, keep it boat worthy and enjoy this little moment of morning rural peace.